Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is D and I represent New Touch Auto. This video clip here, I'll be showing you how to remove the front grill from this Dodge Ram 2022 model. You wanna know how to do so? Stay tuned. So to begin this process, you gotta go under the hood. Once you go under the hood, I'll show you exactly which panels you'll need to remove. Now the radiator cover, I've already done so, but I'll show you exactly what parts you have to remove. You have 12 clips and I'll point them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now those clips are plastic clips. To remove that cover, you need a plastic trim tool remover. Now this tool remover will remove the plastic clips, which are here. All 12 are here. And to get under these, this tool will work similar to this right here. You will get under the clip and you will just pull it out. Pop it out and you can pull the tool out separate once you pull those out. Our next step will be to remove the 14 10 millimeter bolts that's attached to the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and count them out so you'll know exactly where they are. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10 millimeter bolts, you have to remove those with a 10 millimeter socket. Once we remove those, we'll remove these clips that are here. Once I remove these, it'll show you how to remove your clips that's attached to your radiator cover. And we have the clips here. We got one, two, and we have them on the other side as well. Three, four. All right, so now that we removed the top side screws, the next step will be to remove the fender flares. So we gotta remove those so that we can get this panel out the way. So we remove the fender flares first. We'll go underneath, remove the screws so that we can remove the wheel well cover to access this panel. If we don't remove this, we can't remove the grill. Now to remove the fender flare, we may have to remove the entire fender flare. We got them on both sides. To do so, we'll need to use an eight millimeter socket to remove the screws here. If this fender flare wasn't here, we will only have to remove four to access the back side, so you'll be able to peel it back. But since it's attached, we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Then we'll get to this wheel well, pull it back, and we'll have that screw to remove the panel underneath the light.
Remove the fender flare. We only have to get to this 10 millimeter bolt that's attached to the top side right here. So once you remove your wheel well cover, you wanna pull it back enough to where you can get inside. And once you get inside, that bolt is sitting right at the top side. So let's revert back to this fender flare. Now I did have to remove the fender flare clips that's attached to this panel. Without that, it's not gonna come off. So therefore, I've loosened it up until that point there to where it's not connected. Now to remove this panel, you're not gonna be able to just pull it off. In this area here, it's attached to a metal well, it's a plastic fastener it's attached to and you cannot do that unless you untach the fastener in order to do so you'll need some kind of tool to go inside and it's directly here on the back side and that fastener sits right here once you pull down on it hopefully you can get a good view of it but once you pull down on this you'll be able to pull away the panel and it'll separate easily so pull down here pull your panel out and it'll come out easily this panel you want to take your time just wiggle it until those two clips kind of release so now that we have our panel removed we have to remove the three 10 millimeter bolts that are sitting here here and here once we remove those from each side we'll be able to take out the front grill and it should come out easily. So now that we have all screws that was attached removed, we should be able to pull out our grill. Take your time, be patient. Work your way around slowly. You take out the top piece first. The top piece will remove first. Now we're gonna focus on this piece here. We have our grill removed. So that concludes the end of the video. This process here is also beneficial if you want to remove your headlights. This entire headlight housing is already loosened. So this will be able to come out as well. So it's beneficial for this also. Now that we have everything removed, we can proceed with what we're going to do. It's pretty much black out the grill. That's what we're going to do with the grill. We're going to make it gloss black. In the center, we're gonna make it satin black with the ram words. Thank y'all for checking out this video. Really appreciate it. Hopefully it was beneficial for you. Those who have subscribed, thank you. For those who haven't, please hit that subscribe button. You'll find more videos to this nature. See y'all on the next one.